Tēnā tātou katoa no mai rā. We start tonight with the news all first home buyers don't want to hear. Humble Homes in Auckland are selling at auction for up to $700,000 more than the reserve set by the owners. And what's more, the Reserve Bank needs house prices to keep rising to get us out of the recession. Madison Reedy was at an auction today and saw for herself how high some buyers are prepared to go. Pinnikin Patani and his family have been living in this three-bedroom rental for three years. They're desperate to buy their own home. It is really hard. He and his wife have $80,000 saved, enough for a 10% deposit for an $800,000 house. But even that isn't enough in this market. When you ask that price and it's in the like CV of 700 or 750, you think you must get that house, right? But you don't get because there are, must be some more people who like that house and they just give, they just go crazy. This is the type of crazy he means. 1.2 straight away, that was quick. An auction. News Hub witnessed this Auckland house, three bedrooms in the average North Shore suburb of Sunnynook, sell for $2.3 million this morning to a Korean buyer. 163164. Still think there's a bit more wax on the candle yet at 1,640,000. At 233, selling, going, going it is. Gone to your buyer. Congratulations. Its capital value is only 1.1 million. Well, that's a lot of money for a, a three bedroom house. Yes, it is. <laughs> the sellers can't believe it either. We're in yeah. total shock. Total shock, yeah. <laughs> so shocked they were in tears, tears of joy. So who's buying at these prices? Everybody. At the moment, it is hard to pick a particular category. We certainly have the investors back, there's no doubt about that. We are certainly seeing first home buyers, so they are in attendance. I think uh, low interest rates have certainly helped that. And expect mortgage rates to get even lower. The Reserve Bank is preparing to use two of the last tools in its toolbox to hammer rates down, including giving cheaper money to banks to lend to property buyers. It admits that will increase demand and continue to push house prices up even further. Yes, the Reserve Bank needs house prices to continue to rise. The worst situation we face right now is actually if we had house prices fall, right? And, you know, that's, the, that's always the flip side. Would you be dealing with the COVID recovery and dealing with uh, disruption in wealth through lower house prices? Politicians don't want to disrupt the wealthy either. I've been very clear that I want us to have more affordable housing, but I don't think that necessarily means house prices to fall. I don't want them to grow. Simple. Okay, so you want them to just stay I want where them they to are. Okay. But the Reserve Bank's proposed actions will cause house prices to grow. We acknowledge that you know asset prices will rise, and house prices are the you know the key one. That's good news for those already on the property ladder, or those involved in it. Pretty good time to be a real estate agent. Not a bad time to be a real estate agent, yes. But not for those who aren't. Madison, do first home buyers stand any chance against investors? Real estate agents would like to think that they do, Sam, but the reality is that all of the odds are against first-home buyers right now. The Reserve Bank, private banks and leaders of both major political parties all don't want to see house prices fall. And this is why. We cannot afford this COVID economic recovery and a housing market correction. If we get the latter, if house prices fall, then property owners in this country, and there's a lot of them, will lose confidence, they'll stop spending, worsening this recession and it's an outcome that no officials want on their hands. Madison Reddy live from Ponsonby, thank you.